everyone and welcome to Beyond Focus TV. My name is Angie Daniel and I am the host of the show. On tonight's show we have with us Mr. Gary Pierre. He is the founder of the Haitian Times, a leading newspaper that have been in the Tri-State area since 1999. We're going to take a short break. When I come back, I'll introduce him to you. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. We are here with Mr. Gary Pierre Pierre. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for coming by. Um, the last time we had this conversation was last year at the end of your event, which is the Creole Fest, mm -hmm. which is one of the huge productions that we have in Brooklyn and that you're promoting it. Uh, before we start this whole conversation about the fest, tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, I've introduced you about the newspaper, but tell <laughs> us basic stuff. Well, I mean, I was born in Haiti. I grew up in New York, went to college in Florida, mm -hmm. worked all over the place in Florida, uh, worked in Africa, and of course, Haiti is in my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm here working in the community since, like you said, 1999, when I mm -hmm. left the New York Times to start the Haitian Times. And it's been a wonderful experience ever since. It is. It's actually right now. I think it's one of, um, you know, I mentioned this to you earlier. You have one of the editor in chief, Miss um, Manolia. She is actually with you, with your guidance, making this huge impact within the Haitian community, especially am among young Haitian women. Well, you know, uh, great question. I think it's one of my proud, proudest achievement, having passed the baton to a new generation. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what happens too often in the Haitian community, uh, the founder of these things stay a little bit too long. Yeah. I think uh, it was time for me to step aside. I was exhausted uh, working, you know, 12, 13 hours a day is no mm -hmm. joke. And that's what it took to run the Haitian Times and do the festival. And so uh, Manolia came and she said, you know, she wants to run the Haitian Times. I said, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> and, and interesting is, she thought that I was going to be involved in the sense second guessing her and I told her you run with it it's your baby you do you ship it She's whatever. running with it. Exactly and I'm yeah. not interfering with it one way or another. If she needs my guidance I provide it but I don't interfere. I don't tell her this is how I want things done. No, it's really her show. Yeah and, and like I said to you earlier I mean I've met her a couple of times before we've had great conversation. She is doing a tremendous work because I'm noticing like younger professionals both men and women are are moving with time and then we are evolving mm -hmm. and she's part of the involvement that's mm -hmm. happening in the community right well, now. well which is a positive as far it as it is I'm a concerned. positive thing uh, right? because you created a uh, yeah and then um, I, I pass it along passive to legacy else. yeah you know? um but within the legacy of things that you are doing within the community um you've been doing the creole creating the creole fest idea since 19 well, the first uh, issue, I mean, the first edition of the festival was done, uh, I'm thinking issue, I'm thinking yeah. of the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> the first edition was in 2000. Okay. And then uh, we've had it at Wingate since 2003. Mm -hmm. So we moved it 10 years ago to Wingate. We were at the Aqueduct. We were at Prospect Park, Ben Shell. Mm -hmm. And then we were, the first one was at Floyd Bennett Field. Okay. And so that's sort of like the brief history of, of Creole Fest. Creole Fest is truly Creole. We diversify our lineup every year. Okay. It includes rap, Racine, uh, Compa, old generation, new generation. Uh, basically, we've had, you know, what they call jazz, like Emile Michel and Beto Vauba. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're not there to promote, let's say, one musical genre. It's really to promote Haitian culture. Okay. Uh, music, food, and art and crafts. We have all of that at the festival. And um, it is really a unique um, event in the community. Why did you create it? 
Well, because when I was growing up, there wasn't something like that, and I missed that. I think too often people, we as Asians, come together to protest things, not to <laughs> celebrate. That's and I just think, you know, let's do something. And, and, and that's what, you know, I was fortunate to have gone to good schools, to have had a good education. And so I need to give back something to my community. And this is what I could. I was, I'm a journalist, mm -hmm. so I, I, I studied this newspaper, and as such, I realized that music and culture should be what bring, brings us together. And I, there was nothing at the time in New York. And so we started it. We, as, as a community, talk about the idea of music, what it stands for and what it represents. Uh, we have such rich culture that I think we can share with, with the world. Uh, often we hear that Haitian music is one of the music that's danced, that's danced by the world. Uh, but with that idea, how important do you think the culture aspect is to our community here in Brooklyn? Well, this is the only thing we have. I mean, we can't sell Haitian politics. We can't sell the economy because it's, it's non-existent. What we have an abundance of is artists. Mm -hmm. We have, I mean, bands can break up tomorrow and then they come back and the musicians are just like, never yes. miss a beat. Painters, we have them a dime a dozen. So, you know, our culture is very rich. And so that's one of the things that we need, hopefully here, if, if, if Americans or other uh, nationalities in this country can come to Wingate and, and experience our culture. Maybe that will maybe start turning the ima our image around. We have a very bad image internally and externally. Okay. We have a lot of problems. We besieged by political uh, unrest, social unrest. You know, a lot of deep, a lot of it created by us as as people. I was as just going to say that. And so it's up to us in the diaspora. Uh, this is what I think we can provide. Just take that goodness, the good thing that Haiti has to offer and amplify it. Mm -hmm. And Creole Fest is just one of many other things that I think can and should be done. You mentioned how we have a different aspect of, of who we are, of how we, the way we're representing ourselves to, to com other communities. It is really important to me as, as a Haitian woman to highlight the way people see us, to get people to understand that we, what we stand for as a journalist, one, as a founder of Creole Fest, if you have a different generation, one, a different group of people attending the fest, what would be the one thing you would want them to get out of this? Well, just remember the, that moment because it's going to come, it's going to become precious to them. They're going to see what it meant to them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I hope that they get out of it, that this is something that, you know, they remember going to this event, how uh, it was really... It was the one time a year they got together and hung out, mm -hmm. uh, just being proud to be Haitian. I know that there's a Liberty Carnival, but it's a different vibe. It's a different environment. It's a different. It's different. Well, one is Caribbean, the other this is strictly Haitian. Just st strictly. So nobody else gets to be in the park selling. Well, no, I mean they can, but it's just like the the majority of the of the of the crowd is Haitian. Okay. And it is a Haitian event. I mean, I don't make any apologies about that. Okay. I mean, there's no need to apologize right. because we don't have anything that's called our own. I mean, uh, the other day we had Puerto Rican Day Parade. We, mm -hmm. we have St. Patrick's Day Parade. Everyone in this country celebrates them on. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. And But that doesn't mean we're insular. We can't go in and enjoy other people's culture. But we have to have something so other people can come to us mm -hmm. and enjoy what we have to offer. Okay. I want to elaborate on the event in itself. On the 30th of June, that Sunday, mm -hmm. where we're at the park, what should I expect? Well, uh, you come here around noon, mm -hmm. there'll be music playing, there'll be a DJ. This year, we have a, a woman's DJ. Mm. The, the DJ is DJ uh, Fabi, Fabulous, Fabi. Okay. And um, I just think, you know, it's important to diversify that. I love that part. Um, I love that and, and, and so music will be playing. Uh, there'll be uh, people selling food. There'll be people uh, providing with free uh, health checkups. Okay. Are you going to have a health fair? Yes, of course. It? Always have From a health fair. To, you so know what? I have a quick question to ask you within the health fair department part of it, mm -hmm. of the the, um, the fest. Mm -hmm. But I have to take a short break. And then when we come back, I'll hit you with the health fair because I, I don't want to run into a second part without Thank you. taking a break. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Hope you're watching. And stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. We are here with Mr. Gary Pierre, the founder of Haitian Times. We are talking about the big fest that's going to happen right here in Brooklyn on the 30th of June. Earlier, we were talking about like what was going to happen within mm -hmm. the fest, and you mentioned a health fair. Yes. How important is it for us as a community to understand what health means? Yeah. Well, it's simple. A healthy community is a strong community. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we're sick and, and we can't work, so we, we can't really uh, uh, produce anything. And the community is weakened, literally. Yes. And I think that's a really important element. And then we provide, uh, we have Brooklyn Hospital Center is going to yes. be on hand to provide an, uh, all kinds of checkup, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, mm -hmm. all kinds of different things. They do eye checkups. So that, you know, a lot of people don't have the money to go to the doctor. We don't yeah. have insurance. So we try as much as we can to provide certain services to the community and so this is really again part. a part of the whole experience yeah um from what time to what time do you know um well we open at noon and a lot of these people stay until around four five o'clock okay and then uh a lot of the crowd for the music starts coming but we really need people there early like i mentioned the last time because if people don't come and take advantage of these services mm -hmm. Then the sponsors are not going to come back because they're wasting their time. Yeah. You know, they, they, they're in the park and nobody's there. It is there. extremely important for, you know, I, I usually volunteer in health fairs uh, just to translate helping other people, like, fill out papers. There's always that one person that's in dire need of medical attention. I, that, I, I can assure you there's going to be that one person that we need to The change. high blood pressure is so it's high. It's so to, high. Yeah, our sugar <laughs> level is like 600, and then we have to rush them to the hospital. I, it never fails. It never, never, never fails. And we can talk all that we want, getting people to understand that you need to take better care of yourself. If we don't do it as a community, as a whole, you know, people are not going to get it. Because um, why we, is it that we are the community that have the most sickness you understand as as a minority we, everybody talk about black community we don't eat well it's not just we don't eat well we don't take care of ourselves well at all mm -hmm. we don't exercise we, but it's it's just education part mm -hmm. and while you're at the fest now you're also offering these things yeah you can you can uh, check your blood pressure and then go lower it with the music <laughs> <laughs> go to exercise <laughs> So let's talk about the food. I know we talk about music mm -hmm. as, as one of the things that Haitians we have, we offer to the rest of the community. Let's talk about the food because I, I know everyone knows about Haitian food. Well, not really. I mean, uh, <laughs> we know about Haitian food and it's good Haitian food, good Creole food, fritai, mm -hmm. all the things that might probably Make not good. good. <laughs> 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 but, uh, really high. Good, high cholesterol. <laughs> and, you know, we, last year we had uh, what they call Haitian pizza. Mm. Uh, we have really? the cassava with the uh, with the uh, peanut butter and pickles on top of it. That's really? what we call cassava, uh, Asian pizza. And the vendors sell you know all the stuff that people remember in Haiti, marinade, um, okay. the, the whole nine. So we're gonna have like of course the whole setup as okay. a, a, always. I mean you know people who attended the festival know that um, it's well represented. And uh, mm. again, I, I I know I'm I'm the organizer and I've. I'm here uh, to uh, sing its praise, but I, even if I weren't the uh, organizer, I would really, as a uh, spectator, I would have really... You would really... Yeah, uh, so, which which aspect of it would you like, would, would you talk about the most, I mean, to you, because I've never attended one, mm -hmm. this would be my first year, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm, I'm a little bit excited to attend it, because I've never been part of one before. So, what would you tell me, like, what would be the most, in, you know, enjoyable well, moment I mean, for me? You, 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 gotta bring, look. you gotta <laughs> you gotta bring, you gotta bring your friends. Okay. Uh, it's a hangout. Okay. First and foremost, it's gonna be as fun as your, your the crowd you're with. Okay. You know, and then okay. it, it, a lot of I see a lot of ladies dressed uh, to the ninth uh, to come to Crawl Fest. Yes. So I thought uh, it was like a park thing you get to. It is, but blanket. still, still, uh, people just come dressed to the hilt. I mean, if you see, look at the pictures, the crowd people, uh, the hair uh, all made up and. They're, they're styling, you know, they're Haitian styling. women, you know. So it starts from what time to what time? It starts from uh, noon till 11 p.m. Okay. So it's a long day, but, you know, uh, we're ready the day before, actually. And, and we set up the day before, and um, we're ready. But around 11 o'clock, the uh, sound engineer comes and get things going. The DJ goes on at noon. Okay. And then from this year, it's different. From noon to 4 p.m., it's free. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to hear about that part. Okay. And then from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m., it's $20 only. 
from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. is $20. Yeah. So if you want to get there early, it's like free. if you want to get there for free, yeah, yeah. All, dr all dolled up, dressed up, whatever it yeah. is that you want to do, bring your makeup so you can do your retouch. <laughs> so, you know, I always do that. Um, so you should be there between 12 and 4. Mm -hmm. And then from 4 to 11, it's it's for, for $20. You know, one of the arguments that I've, I've, that I've heard from people is that, oh, so they're not sure, it's hot, and so I'm not coming to the park. To me, uh, the house is probably hotter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could and, make it into, like, a whole event, Yeah, right? people can just come in and hang out, bring your lawn chairs. I'm bringing my and, blanket. And exactly, bring your blanket, just relax. And we have huge bleachers. Yeah. If you want to bring your, your, your cushion. Mm-hmm. Sit on the bleachers. We have a la la band that's going to be playing music in the park. Which one? Uh, Brother High. Yeah, the so one that's the, usually at Prosper Park. No, that's the other one. But this one is. It, it's been at Creole Fest for the last three or four years now. Okay. And so there's a la la that that's you know. Uh, for those some of you who are not sure what a la la is, it's like a free band playing all types of. It's a of traditional. Yeah, uh, Haitian. Uh, yeah. It's, drum. It, it, it's, it, it's music. Well, it, it's all, it's uh, what you call that, all uh, percussion, percussion. Okay. There's no uh, other instrument but these bamboo sticks yeah. and uh, it's reed instrument, some uh, genre. I mean, it, it's, Isn't it like it's, what you call freestyle? Well, more or less. It's, well, it's they're jamming. They're jamming, <laughs> they're jamming yeah. you know, or like whatever. Like somebody throws but a soil and just But there is a rhythm. Through. But everybody knows. There's, there's a there's rhythm. A, yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a, certainly a rhythm. It's not just freestyling just for the sake of just it's whatever. It's really interesting because there's a history behind it, too. Well, of course, there's a strong. And Lagunav, I mean, Leo Gun, rather, excuse me. People, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the the base of Rara. There's a huge. Uh, celebration of la la and, and like right around East, Easter yeah around that time okay. it's, it's huge 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 people leave come from all over the uh, the world to go to Haiti and and, and, and to go to la la. La. yeah it's right. big it hasn't gotten as big as Carnival unfortunately but it, yeah. it's, it's fairly big it's like a street festival type yeah. of thing well the, the the Carnival is kind of big <laughs> black party <laughs> oh really <laughs> well okay. so we got the la part covered yes. so besides la la besides the food I get to to bring my blanket to the lawn. Let's talk about the bands that are gonna be there. Okay, we we have again a uh, very uh, varied lineup. We have wait. I, I have to I have to ask you a question. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a specific like it's it's a call out. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a New Look fan. Mm -hmm. Number one New Look fan. Okay. I'm I'm actually an Ollie fan. Okay. Right. So when I get there. Okay, there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> There is a huge difference between <laughs> having an Ali fan and a, um, and a New Look fan. I'm going to take a short break. When I come back, we'll talk about like what I need you to do for me okay. once we get to the park. Okay? okay. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. back to Beyond Focus TV. If you're just turning on, we are here with Mr. Gary Pierre Pierre from the Haitian Times. We are talking about the event of Brooklyn, which is going to happen on June 30th, 2013, from 12 p.m. to 11, 11 p.m. That's yes. like almost 12 hours there, yes, right is. there. Well, of fun, <laughs> food, oh my God. And my favorite Haitian singer. Okay. So let's talk about the whole Ali okay. introduction. Right? <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, seriously, I, like, I think he's making the whole Kale Fest. I, for me, personally, okay. I don't know about everybody else, but um, I'm really into Haitian, like, I think he's a gift to our community. So, let's, very talented musician. Very talented musician. Um, I'm, I'm really thankful that you have him there. And since it's going to be my first time, right, you have to make sure you introduce me. Of course. Okay, so tell him, like, you know, yeah, like I got to talk about him on the show and okay. stuff like that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, can you tell us all about the bands that are going to be well, there? Well, yeah, performers? besides that, we have Brothers Passy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Phantoms, which is like a staple of Brooklyn. Yes. Born and raised in, in Brooklyn. And talking uh, about a band that, that died and coming back again, yeah, they, 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 they just they doing do their thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, 
just like I said, uh, at one point I couldn't run anymore with the Asian Times. It got to a point where you have to mm -hmm. perform yes. uh, occasionally because you just don't have the stamina yeah. to, to tour every every weekend. Every, yeah, that, that's it's just hard. hard. Exactly. Then we have Dula Music. It's based in, in, in New York. In New York. Very yeah. good band. Very, very good, uh, good band. band. Yeah. We have BIC out of Haiti. Okay. And we have... Uh, Ambiance Music, which is a really good band, okay. relatively new band. I was going to say, because I'm not really... No, we familiar. have uh, Barricade Crew. Barricade Crew. Yeah, we have... A uh, lot of new members. Uh, uh, I don't know. They are pretty much the same members. From after the whole incident? Yeah, so I mean, like, okay. what happened is, uh, unfortunately, Kata Fallen, those guys died in that car accident. Then mm -hmm. you had Young Cliff died during the yeah. earthquake. But then, you know, Iso Law, Phantoms, and Iso the other guys, really good. They're, they're, they're still around yeah. with the band. Then we have uh, Chalet Music, which is a Brooklyn-based band. We have Skasha Number no. One, which is like yeah. again, oh my you know, God, the Godfather of Compa. <laughs> that is the Godfather. And then we have Kompa. Tokai, which is uh, based in yeah. Brooklyn. So basically, mm -hmm. we have a lot of New York-based bands. Okay. A couple, a couple. Of you bands. notice like a whole lot of the bands are from Brooklyn, so we're doing a whole lot of Brooklyn promotion. Well, yeah, which I mean, is Brooklyn, really Brooklyn, good. Brooklyn is a base. I mean, I remember when. Uh, Started the Haitian time for now. Used to do distribution. The Brooklyn bags used to be the heaviest. I know, and yeah. people always tell you, if Brooklyn doesn't show up, you don't have anything. Yeah. So Brooklyn is the base. Brooklyn is the base. So we have we have my favorite singer, and then we have all the other. Bands all the others. <laughs> 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 we have all the other bands that are promoting, you know, Haitian culture mm -hmm. with it within the co community. And one of the things I want to uh, point out too is that uh, there's a sort of like. To me, I find it insulting, but there's a mindset that if you don't have a certain band, you can have a festival. I mean, I think that's that's really uh, insulting to the bands that are performing really there. because I think they are a very good band because people come there just to be entertained, to be enjoyed. That's it. And and that's it. At the end of the day, all these bands. Do you want to hear my my serious, honest? O opinion on this it's because we Haitians we always overcompensate <laughs> seriously no matter what's happening there's always that um, we have number one we always offer way too much for whatever it is that we're doing like it, it's it's a $20 <laughs> festival you want to have like 10 different bands and I don't think people are under the understanding of the timing Time, that it exactly. takes for each band to come on. Exactly. I'd rather you have two or three bands and then they all play. Everybody get to enjoy the moment and then you go home. And I'm glad you brought that point up because this is something that we've always prided ourselves on is that this is a well-run festival. Mm -hmm. Whether when it was free only, when it's uh, paid $30, yeah. uh, when it's $20, $10, whatever it is. Because I think, you know, you need to respect the audience. The audience and we, yeah. we, we will respect the crowd. We make sure that, like you said, we don't put... 200 acts yes. in the flyers and then we know very well that it's not going to happen. They're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna and there. to me that's insulting people's intelligence. It's insulting. It's insulting to me when I go out for me to have to wait for one hour for one person to tune his guitar. It just, <laughs> uh, it's, it's very annoying. I mean like, you know, like I said to you, I think we overcompensate number one and it's just we, we ask for too much and we offer too much. We never satisfy with what we have. I mean, you have one, two, three, four. You already have eight different performers here nine nine different performers <laughs> that are performing i mean it's 11 hour you exactly, understand and we exactly. have we have a full breaks in between yeah there's yeah. breaks and in between you I, have a, a dj and we have a uh, pastor blase who's, uh, who's really <laughs> you know he's he's really funny and and so it's it's just to think that there's this one specific band that like we all have that one band oh he's going to bring a lot of people with them there's no such thing people, because this is a melange this is this is a yeah. mixture of different flavor and, um, you know, and the other thing is there are people who m do this for a living. Mm -hmm. And so why would I try to destroy the business? Because if I'm going to give you all these bands for free, yeah. then you know, I'm putting the other person out of business. That's not my motive. That's yeah. not what I want to do. So the motive of this whole thing is for us to promote Haitian culture, not promote one band mm -hmm. or not promote one musical understand, genre. One musical genre. It's just to promote us as a group of people. You usually have a theme for for the, the fest. Is there a theme <laughs> this year? I not this year. I think, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it just to hang out, come and have fun. I like um, that. You know, I like that theme. I mean, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hang out. <laughs> you, know? you know? So, I mean, 
I stopped. Last year we had a nice mm -hmm. theme, but it, we, although we don't have it, but it was just like where you know it's a retro comp uh, mm -hmm. uh, meeting uh, hip hop and 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 basically and and roots. Yeah. And so it's it's again it's it's at the heart of what we do. Okay. And so we came up with that theme last year, and this year I just we took it for granted. And then just let just let it ride yeah. every come and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. So this is gonna be this su Sunday, June thirtieth, mm -hmm. from eleven. From noon to from 11 noon to eleven p.m. And from noon to four o'clock, it's free. It's free. From four o'clock to eleven p.m. is twenty dollars. We have nine different acts. It's gonna be at Wingate Park. And we have some surprises too on hand. I'm not really. Saying. People have to come in. So can you tell me what the surprises are? That's like? whispering your ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we, we, we have a band called Sharon Gasole who's going to okay. be playing. They play uh, Cuban music, African music, and a little, little mix with compa. So this is like, well, it's not a surprise anymore. I wasn't supposed to say. <laughs> what kind of a surprise uh, I have is that? another surprise. Don't say, don't, say, okay. don't say it. Don't say it. It's a surprise. <laughs> so if people wanted to get in touch with you in terms of information on if they want it to be vendors, is there a number that they can call and sponsor whichever way? Sure. It's 646-220-8730. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's, that's your direct number? Yes, it is. For them yeah, to get in touch yeah. with you. All right. Um, for more information, you can reach 646-220-8730. Eight seven three zero. That's at Wingate Park, in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, right. Creole Fest. Creole Fest. But I know Wingate. No, this is how some people call it. <laughs> I, <don't get> <laughs> I mean, that is funny. I like that. Well, sir, thank you for stopping by. This a is pleasure. the end of our show. No, the pleasure is all mine. Don't forget, you know. Okay. Gotta, uh, I hope you are. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of our show. I I'm looking forward to seeing you in the park on the thirtieth of June. I will be there from four to eleven. And then I will see you next Tuesday, same place, same time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I had more fun than you did.